In an effort to be able to leave the house with as few items in my pocket as possible, we got a smart door lock. I was just gonna research and buy whichever I thought was the best one, but my wife didn't want a smart door lock. At least she didn't want it to look like we had a smart door lock. We met in the middle and we landed on level bolt. Now the bolt just replaces the dead bolt in the door and the hardware on the outside can be whatever you choose. So from the street, it looks like you have a normal door, but you're able to unlock it and lock it with your phone, your watch, CarPlay, whatever it may be. It's supposed to be very convenient, but it's not convenient if it's unreliable, if it's slow, if you find that half the time you try to unlock the door, it doesn't unlock. Level announced several weeks ago that they'd be supporting matter over thread of their locks. And this went for the old locks too. We just got a firmware update and now our lock has matter over thread. For you to understand exactly why that matters, you have to understand where we came from. Now at its bare bones, this lock is just Bluetooth, but they've had some interesting ways to allow you to unlock your door outside of that Bluetooth radius. The lock has always been Apple Home compatible, and that's great, but that comes with its own issues and I'll get to that in a minute. If you were an Alexa home, you had to use the Ring app to lock and unlock your door through Amazon's Sidewalk. This connection was so unreliable that we just could not count on it. Anytime I opened the Ring app, it said connection lost on the lock. So very rarely did I even try to use that. Then they released Level Connect, and this just needed to be plugged into an outlet pretty close to the lock, and this would provide that Wi-Fi capability. I could unlock my door from just about anywhere. This connection was pretty good, but randomly this thing would start blinking and I didn't have any connection to the lock anymore outside of Bluetooth. So it did come with its own issues. And then there was a catastrophic failure where they actually had to send me a brand new Level Connect. So Level Connect was great for adding Wi-Fi if we're using Alexa. But in order to use Apple Home, the lock had to have a solid connection through Bluetooth to the Apple TV, which is on the back side of the house. So the connection was there, but it was not very solid. We tried a half dozen times to lock and unlock the door using Apple Home, and it worked maybe half the time. It's this reason why mesh networks are so important to smart homes. Mesh networks make it possible for devices not to have to rely on their direct connection to a hub or in the case of Thread, the border router, which is the Apple TV. Thread is a mesh network. It's a network made up of all your Thread compatible devices. They all connect to the border router through each other and it's self-healing. So if one drops off, a device will find another one to use. So I'm using my living room as a visual example of exactly how this mesh network, Thread, works. If the only thread compatible device I had in the house was the lock, I'd once again just be relying on that connection to the border router at the back side of the house. So I bought a pack of Nanoleaf matter over thread bulbs, and that's this one and this one. Now the lock can use these as stepping stones to get to the border router. The more thread devices you add to your home, the more solid the connection is. This might have been overkill in the case of the lock because thread actually has a pretty far reach and it probably could have reached the border router on its own, but I really just wanted to make sure the connection was solid given the history that we've had. One of the biggest benefits of a mesh network like Thread is that it's very fast. I can hit the shortcut button on my watch and the lock is unlocked seconds later. It's also very stable. Like I said, it's always connecting to other devices. And then there's Matter. Now you've probably heard a lot about Matter, but it's just the universal way that all these devices can connect to your home as long as they are Matter compatible. And that goes for Apple Home, Google Home, Alexa, etc. If you had questions about Thread previously, I really hope this visual example helped you at least a little bit. And if you're finding this informative, please subscribe. I'm always going to be talking about the practical ways I'm using smart home devices in my home. Thank you.